Uh, I'd like you to meet somebody, a fic fictional character, and his name is Joe Bag of Donuts. Joe Bag of Donuts. <laughs> like us all, where he's Joe's not perfect. He's not a perfect character, um, but he has his particular way of understanding himself. Uh, you see, all of his problems, his character issues, um, he basically describes them as weaknesses, as weaknesses. Uh, some examples, uh, sometimes uh, Job tends to lie, tends to lie, but in his mind that, that's a weakness, that's a weakness that, that he has. Uh, he's sorry, uh, but kind of feels I can't help myself. That you know, it, it happens. I lie about. I'm not happy about it, but it's a weakness. Uh, sometimes, another example, um, with some pressure at work, he he breaks the Sabbath in terms of he's working on the Sabbath. Um, doesn't stop at sunset. Keeps working. His boss is on his case, and he just gives into the pressure and. In his mind, well, that's a weakness. Uh, I, I'm not happy that I do that, but you know, that's who I am. That's who I am. And the final example is that uh, when he gets mad, Joe uses profanity at times, uh, sometimes taking God's name in vain. And once again, he knows it is wrong, um, but he merely looks at it as a weakness. So the question is, all these uh, weaknesses of Joe, um, are they really weaknesses? Or are they something else? Uh, well, let's examine the, the three examples I gave. Um, he lies from time to time. Uh, well, that's the ninth commandment, right? That's a commandment. Uh, the fact that he sometimes breaks the Sabbath, well, we know that's the fourth commandment. And profanity, using God's name in vain, well, that's the third commandment that is being broken. So the, how should Job really look at the things in his life? Are they weaknesses? Not really, not directly. They're sin. They are sins that he is committing. And we could say Job is weak. He is weak. And weakness can lead to sin. However, the realization of breaking God's commandments are, are a lesson in his mind when he just sees them as a weakness. So he can more easily dismiss his problems and failing to see that these are sins that are present and he needs to repent of those sins and he needs to work with God's help to overcome and change. Uh, we can take it a step further. Job really needs to be impressed with the fact that God hates sin. God hates sin. That's the goal that we have, to really and truly hate it in our lives. Not dismissing it as, I'm weak, so I do it, and that's who I am, but hate it. And that will be the motivation with God's help to eradicate it and start taking care of it. Uh, Joe needs the attitude of David, King David. Let's go to Psalm 119. Psalm 119. And we'll see in verse 104. It says, through your precepts I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. I hate it. I don't dismiss it. It's like, ah, yeah, I, no, that's who I am. No, he just, I hate every false way. Verse 113, I hate vain thoughts, but your law I love. And 163, I hate and abhor lying, but your law I love. And see, this attitude is missing from our fictional character. Uh, a real hatred and abhorrence of sin, of lying, of breaking the Sabbath and profaning God's name. It's missing. We go to Proverbs 8. 
and verse 13. Proverbs 8 and verse 13. It says, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Hate evil. Pride, arrogancy, and the evil way in the froward mouth do I hate. That's pretty direct. It's, it's a strong, powerful word. Uh, it, it, and, but it places the way that we should view sin. We should hate it. We should hate when it, when it bubbles up in our life. And we see... Another Psalm 51, very briefly in just verse 3, Psalm 51 and verse 3, in that uh, famous psalm of David, his psalm of repentance, in Psalm 51, verse 3, he says, For I acknowledge not my weaknesses, he, I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. That's, how, that's blunt, but that's how the way that we need to look at it. Because God wants us to recognize our sins as sins. And when we really learn to hate it, that gives us the motivation to take action, to overcome them, certainly with God's help. And we can say Joe Bag of Donuts also needs to learn from the Apostle Paul. Let's go to Romans chapter 7. Romans chapter 7 in the New Testament. In Romans 7 and verse 14, Paul says, For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. Sold under sin. This gets right to the heart of the matter. For that which I do, I allow not. That I would, that I don't do, but what I hate, I do. If then that which I do and I would not, I consent to the law that it is good. Now, then it is no more I that do it, but sin dwells in me. Very plain, very blunt that, that Paul is, like, like David. And we just jump to verse 24. He realizes the situation. He says, oh, wretched man that I am. The Apostle Paul said that. Uh, who will deliver me from the body of this death? And... You know, the answer is in verse 25, of course. I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Uh, so then with the mind I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh the law of sin. The point is that Paul knew the enormity of sin. He, he didn't dismiss it. He never said, I this is the way I am. That's the way I grew up. So, you know, cut me some slack. No, he just said sin is sin. And it's something I hate and really need with God's help to eradicate so, brethren, uh, hopefully the lesson is clear to us in God's church uh, that that's an attitude that Joe had, our fictional character, that, that we don't want to ever get into. Because uh, he erased sin from his mind, and he just substituted weakness. He substituted the word weakness. Uh, he blamed his sinful ways on, eh, you know, this is the way I am, I'm weak. But he failed to see his actions as sins, and... So he would never obtain the attitude of a David or a Paul to really learn to hate sin as God hates it. So we need to be alert to sin in our lives and work to overcome it through the help of our Savior, Jesus the Christ, and also our Heavenly Father.